No matter how paranoid or conspiracy-minded you are, what the government is actually doing is worse than you imagine. William Bloom, former U.S. State Department employee and author of Rogue State, A Guide to the World's Only Superpower. You might be noticing how controlled the recent events in the media seem to be lately. The MH370 and MH17, this plane hasn't gone down in 17 years yet. Two from the same airline go missing and then crash. There's also a barrage of suspicious mass shootings that have happened that have suddenly ceased out of nowhere. A U.S. funded and trained militant group, ISIS, wreaking havoc on the Middle East, targeting religion with questionable beheadings. There's also the Ferguson protests, drawing as many false dilemmas in as possible, like race, people versus police and police brutality, division and agitation to keep us from realizing that this is not about those social issues, but this is really and always is about control. We need to understand that there are ulterior motives at work. Police state and martial law has been stepped in with this Ferguson event, and Really, even though they try to induct these things, it's really all about distraction because this is their main game and they will never stop trying to, to distract you. You will never stop being fooled by it. I don't care who you are or how long you've been awake for, you will never stop being fooled, especially if you're not careful. They put us against each other all the time from outside with the mainstream media and within with people infiltrating our movement. Most of these who have been awake for quite some time can tell that this is nothing new, but time is running short, guys. These questionable events are occurring at alarming speeds. Let me clarify, on the mainstream media, not every event is a hoax, but every event ma that makes it on the mainstream media is on it for a reason. Once again, mainly to divide us and to distract us. Many of us can instantly pick this out, but for some of us, especially the new newly awakened, we will fall for it, but we all do at many times, like I've said before. With all the disinfo and all the half-truths out there, and with time running so short, we need everyone who is able to contribute. Starting today, the Ottawa Expositor will be asking of you to donate to possibly the most important and rewarding cause you will ever come across. On a semi-regular basis, we are going to be asking you and encouraging you to create your own channel. Donate your information and your opinions. You can also make your voice heard by doing many things like sending letters to your newspaper editor, um, street talk, there's many other forms of social media that you can do, but we can con connect much easier right now as it is through YouTube. And we can speak with each other and talk about these events. We understand you are not alone. Through the fog of the information war, you are not alone. And we as those who honestly seek the truth need your voice. These channels and sites are great places with fellow resistors. I have it right there for you. And ladies, take a look at this. I want to show you that you are definitely not alone. Over a quarter of my viewership this month are female. Now, now you know that there are plenty of women and men that would rather hear your beautiful voice over mine. I'm telling you. <laughs> We will wake up so many more people together if we just work together and we share information and we also try and make sure that we're on the right track, we're not going to fail. We're going to be able to pick these guys out and get to the next level and the next layer of their deception. Remember this, do not let them divide or distract you. Let's come together and expose the corporate takeover of liberty so that we may reclaim it for good someday. I'm not an expert, and we don't need to be, in order to have a voice. Let's help everyone who is trying to find theirs. Thank you.